Hi guys, it's Carmen here. Uh, I know it's been a very long time. I've been sick and um, I've been sick for a long time and uh, was not able to do some videos or do anything really. Um, I know that some of you already know um, my husband had a liver transplant so um, for the first four months you're not supposed to be around anybody that's sick so that was kind of a problem. So anyways, I'm starting to feel better. Uh, I don't know why I was sick for so long and just feeling kind of weak and stuff and so I started um, taking vitamins which I never did uh, started I started juicing and got a Nutribull and you know stuff like that so hopefully that'll work but anyways I just wanted to share these flowers that I made um, they're uh, just you know your basic flowers tattered rose floral dye and uh, I added some tool did a um, running stitch on this one and uh, did a rolled rose. And this here is, um, I kind of used the tutorial by Trisha, which is a little shabby chic. Um, I added some eyelash trim. This is um, some lace that I just gathered up and made into a flower. This is um, ribbon. Added some pearls. Um, just packaged it up. I'm sorry about that, you guys. I had actually made another set, which I already packaged up and I can't show you, sorry. And this is a, a Sizzix die, and then I just uh, stamped it with this stamp by Craftsmart and um, just inked it around the edges. And this one is just a flower that I made with the um, streamer and a recollection flower, some fabric, and uh, eyelash trim. And I made this card also. Um, and this is the paper that I used. It's uh, GCD Studios and it's called Splendor. And I picked it up at Tuesday morning. It's beautiful paper. I actually used the bigger pack, but I can't find it. So just wanted to show you. Um, so anyways, I use a Grand Estabilities dye. This lace and this uh, flat back pearl here. The pink one is from uh, Natalie's, My Paper Passion, Natalie's shop. Um, this is a Sizzix dye. Added some stickles. This is a cherry blossom and um, a rose from, I think it was not too shabby shop. Um, used the uh, ovals dye here. This stamp is from Stamping Up, I think. And uh, added some bling. Used the labels dye here. Uh, inked the edges. On the inside, I just added the same paper from the collection. Used the um, punch by Kick Success, and this is just a, a tag that I bought it. I don't know Tuesday morning. I'm not Tuesday morning. Maybe Hobby Lobby, and I just added my message there. Um, ink the edges in the back. This is a stamp that I made with the Martha Stewart stamp thing that I got a long time ago. But I decided to use it, so it works out fine. It kind of reminds me of the Just Right stamps. Um, this one is a stamp that, one of those uh, stamps that you, you know, you can turn and change the date and stuff. Anyways, um, that's my card. And the other one is, I kind of like it also. The one that I may have made for, um, the one that I said that I had already packaged up. Sorry about that. But I also wanted to share this bag that I made. Um, it's just, I just wanted to decorate a bag just to send some stuff out. And um, this here is a, a stamp that's by Ditto. I inked, I inked it up with this um, mixed media, Colorback mixed media, Donna Salazar. Um, I think it's Donna Salazar inks, aren't they? Anyways. Um, the color is jasmine, and these things are awesome. I love this this ink. The only thing I don't like is that the lid won't stay on, but I love that. Anyways, I added a bling. I did some more cutting with the dies and stamped um, Merry Christmas with this stamp here that I picked up at Michael's Inka Dinka Do stamp. It's really, really nice. I love this stamp. Um, and then I embossed it with... Um, Red tinsel opaque embossing powder by Stampendous. Yep, and then this here is this stamp here. It's a Halloween stamp. It's called Halloween Magic. And what I did was I covered up the clock. See how it has a clock in the middle? 
and I just added this 25 I cut it it was from one of the um, borders from um, Kane Company Christmas line papers border strips and I just cut out the 25 I colored it with my Copic markers and Spectrum Noir I covered up the gear it had a gear here and I covered up with the um, holly leaves these flowers are from the Dollar Bennett Michaels and these punches these leaves are from the Martha Stewart punches um, this paper here, the red one, is from Target. I bought it a long time ago. It came in a pack of twos for 99 cents. This paper here is from uh, Recollections, I think from last year. This red paper I had from, I think, Tuesday morning, the packs of 25 that you get. And um, what else? This die here is uh, Spellbinder's die. Uh, it's called Floral Ovals. And so, anyways, this is the bag that I made. And... Um, Hopefully, be sending this out by the time you see it. It'll, it'll be gone. It'll be already out. So, hope, hopefully, she'll like it. And thanks so much for watching, you guys. I am going to be coming back with some more videos that I have a lot of catching up to do. So, um, I just want to say thank you for um, watching and um, hope everybody has a Merry Christmas and hope everybody is being safe and blessed. Bye bye.